Okay, question 8 part 1 has given us this quotient here. We've got a fraction here, so in order to differentiate it, I'm going to use the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says that if you've got a function where you've got a some sort of um, function in terms of x on top and a different function in terms of x on the bottom, the differential of that is u dash v minus u v dash all over v squared. So u is the top and v is the bottom. So we're going to differentiate the top and times it by the bottom. When we differentiate 4 ln x, we're going to get 4 over x. And when we differentiate minus 3, we're going to get 0. So we've got 4 over x times by the bottom, which is 4 ln x plus 3 and then we're going to do the same thing but we're going to times the differential of the bottom by the top. Differential of the bottom is also 4 over x because this plus 3 disappears so we've got 4 over x times by the top 4 ln x take away 3 and that all then gets divided by the bottom squared so by 4 ln x plus 3 all squared. Now the first thing I can do is take this 4 over x. There's a 4 over x in both things we've got here. So I can take that out of everything. Which will give me 4 ln x plus 3 take away 4 ln x. and a plus 3, because we've got a minus and a minus there. And that's going to be divided by 4 ln x plus 3 squared. You can see we've got a 4 ln x take away a 4 ln x, so they're going to cancel. In this bracket here we're left with a 6, so we've got 4 over x times by 6 on the top, divided by 4 ln x plus 3 squared on the bottom, which is 24 over x over 4 ln x plus 3 all squared. Now that looks very messy. If we've got a fraction and we divide it by another number, then a, like here, a quarter divided by 3 is a twelfth. We just times the, this number here by this number here. So that's what we can do here. We can times this x by the, the denominator and get 24 over x times by 4 ln x plus 3 all squared, which is what they had um, in, in the original question.